How you guys doing today? It's Del from MD MD Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing another product, the Tun Dynamic Mic Preamp. And you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too long with this video because I think I touched um a lot in the last video about um pre mic preamps and what they do. So for this one, I'm just gonna kind of keep it short. Um, if you want to hear more about mic preamps, um, specifically Dynamic Mic Preamps, you can check out the video. I'm, I'll leave a I'll leave a card in it, so you can click click on that and, and watch that if you want to know more about it. But in the last video, I was telling you guys about the Tune that I mean, like preamp. I told you that I, I had um, ordered on eBay that was coming from China. And at the time, just to kind of, I guess because I want to kind of get a review out there and I wanted to kind of get my hands on a dynamic mic preamp, I just went ahead and ordered the uh, the Jamello, which, which I reviewed in the last video. So you can go ahead and check out that video. Um, and then if you want to, you can come back to this video. But I will say that the uh, the Tun Dynamic Mic Preamp, you know, is here. Um, I've tried it out. I've tested it out, um, you know, a, a few times. And I did notice a big difference between that and the and the Jamello. And the biggest difference that I noticed was that um, when you up the gain, I didn't hear as much white noises with the uh, Tun uh, uh, Preamp as I did the Jamello. That's actually one of the things that I um I listen to oftentimes. You know, I have headphones right here, and I'll put on my headphones and, and shut off my monitors. Um, I can hear better, um, at the at, you know whatever I'm, I'm monitoring as far as the mic wise. And one of the things that I, I noticed immediately was that the um Tun that be mic preamp it I, I I could barely hear any white noise. And now I will say the Jamello um I, I did hear some white noise it wasn't enough for me to be like i'm sending this back no nothing like that but i will say that I, I definitely noticed that so if you're somebody that's thinking about getting a dynamic mic preamp then i would definitely say i would i would choose the tune over the jamello for that factor alone and here they are side by i'm gonna put them side by side too so you, so you can see the jamello is a bit longer as you can see, can you see? Am I doing it accurate? Yeah. So, there you go right there. Um, like I said in my, in my last video, because I was order, ordering it from eBay, it was coming from overseas. It did take about three weeks for it to come in, but it finally came in, and I'm impressed with it. You know, I'm, I'm really um, I actually I actually switched it out uh, for the Jamello on, on my on my mixer, and I, and I didn't um, I didn't put it back in. I didn't put the I didn't put the Jamello back in. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely impressed with the sound. Um, I will say that the audio quality on the um, tune it's much more boxy and muddy. Um, I, I will say that's something that I don't really like um, about it, but it's not really um, killer or anything like that. But I think just something you have to do um, in post production, you know, which with the Jamelo because of um, depending on how high. You have the gain on your mixer or on your um on your audio interface. You would have to do something with the um in production anyways to kind of remove some of the white noise. Like I said before, the Jamello definitely was a, a little um was a, you could definitely hear um, white noises um if you're listening to it in post production. And with the Tune, I, I didn't get that, but the Tune also is a lot more boxier um uh, far as the uh, boxy muddy far as of, of voice and vocals. And I didn't I didn't experience that with the Jamello. Um, I just wanted to kind of tell you. The differences that I noticed with the with the two, um, and this is actually you know just like I said this is a review of, of the tune, so right now I'm going to take you on screen and let you um kind of hear the difference between the um having a dynamic mic preamp and not having one, and then I'm going to also going to put the uh, the Jamello dynamic mic preamp and also going to put the um tune. So right here is the um tune mic. I was just telling you guys about, I was showing you right here. Got it on eBay. If you wanted to see. 28 dB. And I, I kind of mentioned the same thing I did in, in the last video. In your case, you have some people who watch this video but probably won't watch that one. Um, and it's that... Um, Dynamic microphones usually come at about 54 um, negative dB. And the reason is that dynamic microphones are, are are commonly what you see people use in the broadcasting world or for podcasts. You know, 
if you're familiar with the Breakfast Club, um, on that, that's on YouTube. Um, that's a good example of they use dynamic microphones. Joe Rogan, you know, podcast dynamic microphones, and um, dynamic microphones are they have um, lower sensitivity, so they don't pick as much background noises. Um, but the the downside to that is that they usually come in at about fifty plus negative dB. So with the dynamic mic preamp, um, it would give you it would you would put it in. You need to use phantom power for those, and once you power them up, it would give you that. Um, it would give you twenty eight dB of gain, clean gain. So kind of kind of explain that to you all a little bit. Now right now I'm about to um, play. I have three tracks. I have um, a track that I recorded without any preamp. Then I have the track that I recorded with the Tune preamp. Then I have a track that I recorded with the Jamelo preamp. So you can just get a good idea of what that sounds like. And if you're interested or you know, you know, in, in that nature, you can always go and purchase it on eBay or look for it um, elsewhere if it's not on eBay. But I, I believe um, it's still on eBay. Um, so. Here's what it sounds like first without the preamp. This is what my microphone sounds like without the Tune um, dynamic mic preamp. And to give you guys a heads up, when I put the um, preamp on, I will not change the volume. I will not change the volume at all. So, as you heard for yourself, that's what it sounds like without the preamp. This is the Tune preamp, and I actually have them labeled right here. Um, you follow my mouse right there. I have it labeled, so you, if you're wondering, which is what you see without preamp, Tune, and Jamelo. So here we go. This is a test with the um, Tune dynamic mic preamp. Um, just to give you a good idea of what it sounds like with the preamp. Again, this is the TU dynamic mic preamp. And you can definitely tell from the wave patterns that it's definitely um, a lot more hotter than without the preamp and a lot more louder. Um, so, But also, I, I'll say that one of the things that I noticed is that um, – if you know if if I if I had been paying attention, I probably wouldn't have had the gain up as high as I did um, the Jamelo and or with the, without the preamp, because the uh, Tune preamp seems to be powerful or doesn't doesn't need as much gain as the Jamelo. So let's hear the uh, Jamelo real quick. This is the Jamelo. Dynamic mic preamp. In case you were wondering what it sounds like, um, this is this is the Jamelo test one two three. Test one two three. This is the Jamelo dynamic mic preamp. Test one two three. So, I um, mean, if you want to listen to those again, just rewind it. Um, I, th I think it also it's better if you have uh, on, on headphones as well. But for whatever reason, um, if you if you do want to listen to that again. Just go back and um, just keep rewinding it. I hope you all enjoyed that demonstration. What I will say is that um, out of the two dynamic mic preamps, I definitely would lean more towards the Tune preamp, like I mentioned before. It doesn't really require that much gain, which, I mean, really isn't a big deal. Um, and that's you, you go up real high, and then the, um, the Jamelo preamp, that my preamp begins to introduce um, a bit more white noises. So that's kind of one of the things that I noticed, you know, but all in all, they're both good products. If you don't want to wait three weeks for the, for the um, tune to come in the mail, then the Jamelo, you can order it on Amazon. It, it'll be there in a couple of days. Again, both of them are great. As I said in the last video, if you are somebody that does pre-recorded videos like myself um, on YouTube, then you don't really need a dynamic mic preamp because you can always just turn up the gain um, in post-production in the video editing software or add a compressor or a limiter. That's how, so like, so 
If you're wondering, do I need a dynamic mic preamp? If you're doing pre-recorded videos, the answer is no. You don't need one. Um, if you're doing podcasts and if you go live on YouTube or Instagram or any other platform, then I would say yes, I would get a dynamic mic preamp because you'll definitely notice um, a big difference in, in the volume. Um, and, you know, you, it's just, again, they're affordable. They do a wonderful job. Um, and like I always say, my biggest catchphrase is, can I justify the purchase? And for me, 13 bucks. I got two of them. I also got two Jamelo um, dynamic mic preamps. I can definitely justify the purchase. They do a wonderful job. Um, and I'm going to be using them on my podcast in, in the future. So again, Dell of MB Indie Reviews, thank you for watching um, another review. Please subscribe and like the channel, like the videos. Um, they definitely um, help the channel when you like my videos. So until next time, peace.